factions in the game are designed to be you know, entirely different in the way that they approach warfare. So the Echelon are technologically advanced. They've got really cool toys, they've got superior firepower, you know, great mobility, and well-trained. Where the Psy, on the other hand, are very much like um, guerrilla fighters, freedom fighters, and over thousands of years have developed these internal special abilities. What we've really got in the two sides is a powerful, technologically superior faction against a faction that hides in the shadows, that can appear anywhere and then disappear at a moment's notice. We've got on the echelon side the sentinels, and now they're like a, a machine gun unit that locks into place and they pop their shields up, and they sit there and they shoot anything that comes into range. Whereas on the side side, there's a unit called the Rage. It's this massive hulking brute, really well armoured, lots of hit points, can't shoot anyone, but if you can get next to him, you can pound the snot out of him. So yeah, his job is to get in there and smash him, and the Sentinel's job is to keep him away and shoot him. So yeah, it's awesome. One of the cool things that we wanted to do with the Echelon is have their animations a little bit different to the side. We wanted them to be more organised, more like your professional military army. So all their movements are really strict and they go from cover to cover. The Psy animation wise, we wanted these guys to be a bit crazy, a bit, a bit wild. At the start of the game, we wake up as the lead character, Aiden Geary. He's a commander in the Echelon forces who has just woken up from hibernation. He's been sleeping for the thousands of years, waking up into this new world that's in utter chaos. There's also a hint uh, during the opening that Aiden Geary is also kind of half psy. The hero characters are there to help you get through the levels and to show you what the items that you can actually unlock and the powers that you can get later on. So they're really there to drive the player onwards. On the Echelon side, we've got a guy called Coop. He's with you in the very first mission, and he's your jack of all trades. He's got a mini gun for killing infantry, he's got a missile shooting air things, and he's got a big shield for, you know, stopping damage. Whereas on the side side later on, there's this crazy chick called Sable, who actually does this massive long-range damage attack with the Eye of the Storm, and this cuts through units, and it also helps the player know that somewhere in their future, they can get access to these items as well. You know, and they really want to get it, because it's a great effect, and it's lots of damage, and then they can use it in multiplayer. So they're there as well to entice the player to continue. As someone who's been playing RTS competitively for you know, five, ten years now, uh, the thing that really excites me about this game is just the diversity of units we have. I mean, they're so so different from what you normally get in a strategy game, and the way you can use them is so different. You can get around the map in ways that you know, I never really imagined in normal RTS. Climbing up walls and jumping over gaps is a really unique way of playing. One of the key features of our game is the way that you can get in at eye level with particular units, so you get detail close to a third-person fighting game. I think the forces are probably the most useful unit I have. I mean, they're really tough. You can move them around the map very quickly, and if you can get a lot of them together, you can actually take down any of the other units in the game if you use a bit of strategy. You can create a bit of crossfire, you know, a bit of flanking action with their abilities. I've got the Commando Rush, so you can get in there very quick and uh, take anything out. In the past, graphics in RTS games haven't really been the focus, but because we've got the hardware to do it these days, we're really looking forward to being able to show you the graphics that we've got in our game.